Hey folks, this video is going to update the BIOS on this Gigabyte UD V550 AC motherboard as seen here. So let's uh, check something here. If we go to easy mode, we can see right there that we have BIOS F2 in here, okay? So we're going to update that to a much newer BIOS. Now, your XMP is going to reset and potentially your uh, boot sequence, if you have drives in here, might end up in a different order. So keep uh, an eye on that. All right, when you go in, make sure you set it back up to what you had it. Now for this video, I'm going to use this Gigastone USB 2.0. This is a 128 gig stick. All right, let's go ahead and get going. All right, so we're going to go to a search engine. In this case, I'm going to go to google.com. At least hopefully I am. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Eventually we'll end up on google.com. There we are. So from here, folks, you're going to type in gigabyte UD B5, B550. Now, if you happen to be doing the um, micro ATX version, you'd put a M on that, all right? Uh, in our case, I want to add AC, and that brings us here, all right? From here, we're going to click on Support. And just so you can see, uh, before we get our BIOS CPU support, click here. You see all the different uh, CPUs and what BIOS they are supported by. And there appears to be a mistake here, so never mind that. Uh, I've got F2 in there, and it's running a 3600 XT. So they, they screwed up and updated this. But normally you can go in here and see what BIOS you need. BIOS revision to get to a certain point. All right. Back to downloads, BIOS. So we have uh, F2, and this is a weird thing here, folks. It doesn't show F2 in here, but we're going to go ahead and click. So you will want to grab the uh, newest, which will be this top one. I'm going to grab this one because I have a second uh, video I've got to make, all right? So we'll click that. And then up here, if you're using Microsoft Edge, pops up over here. And then you'll want to uh, extract all. All right, so this file, I'm going to copy it over to my USB drive, which I'm going to go plug in real quick. Maybe not so quick. And you should see it pop up in a second on the screen. And you'll probably notice I have all kinds of files on there. It's in your best interest to not have a bunch of files on there. All right, so we don't need this on here. That'll just confuse it probably. So I'm going to copy, right mouse click, copy, select copy, right mouse click, paste, or control V. And so our file's in there, folks. Let's go ahead and take it over to the other computer. All right, so taking my USB drive and going to plug it in. Now, later, when we use the BIOS update button, we'll actually specifically use that, uh, the dedicated drive for that. So we're coming back over here. And we want to either click F8 or click on flash update BIOS there's our file right there click over here to the right where this arrow is be sure want to update BIOS yes invalid BIOS image uh oh so what's up folks what's that all about we have the wrong one we could have the wrong one, folks. All right, so we're sort of back to the 
starting point. Um, let's go back and see. You see revision 1.2. Did I make a mistake? Is there another one available? Could it be... So this is really weird, folks. All right, so we're going to manually look for this motherboard gigabyte AMD we want B550. And you can see now that we have grabbed the wrong one. So when you guys do this, make sure you get the right one, all right? And that's kind of the point of this whole thing. Now, when we go back to support, all right, this definitely looks like our motherboard, and I click on CPU support, you see F1 for all these, all right? So right off the bat, this one was good with all these CPUs. Now. There's no doubt in my mind that it's going to work this time, but sometimes, folks, um, this is kind of a teaching moment for you. Had you have done the usual search, you would have had a mis an issue just like I was, and you would not have understood that. So, uh, hence why we're doing it this way. Now, there are a bunch of BIOS files in here. You saw we have F2. I'm going to actually um, just grab F3 here, but you guys need to grab F5C, all right, or whatever's newer than that. All right, so we're going to go in and delete our old file. And then we'll come over here. Like I said, you guys will click here, download this one. I'm going to download this one in case um, there's another mistake in the videos. Or I have, um, one of my goals is to do the BIOS flashback button. And I'd rather use uh, the latest for that. All right, so there's our file. Copy again. Put it on our thumb drive. And so in the title of this, it'll it's basically going to say how how not to update and how to update the BIOS, right? So you guys, if you're wondering how you ended up having to sit through all that extra stuff, that's why. So let's go do this. All right, so we left our computer where it is. We've got to escape out of here. Now we're going to go back in there. I'm plugging the thumb drive in again. And we're once again going to click on QFlash. Make sure that you uh, plug it in all the way. It should appear I did not. Give it a moment. And then, there we go. Update BIOS. There's our file, the F3. All right. Click here. Are you sure you want to update? Now, folks, we're to this point where we're actually going to do this and it's going to work. Make sure the weather's good. Make sure you're not going to lose power. Uh, you don't want to have a snowstorm, blizzard, rainstorm, earthquake, you know, all that kind of crap happening, right? This is serious business. So, knowing that that's not going to happen here, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And now this is going to take uh, probably six to eight minutes after I hit press start. I'm going to go do a set. I'm doing a little workout, so uh, we'll be back. I'm going to let this uh, record so you guys can see exactly how long it takes.
So we're at 85%. And this video is taking quite a while, I'm sure. 12 minutes at this point. I am recording with the Samsung S20 shooting 4K 60 FPS. I thought about doing 8K for this video, but probably not too many people need 8K. And I had a second one of these uh, Samsung Ultras that uh, autofocus was fizzing out, so I think this camera is working a lot better. All right, so we're rebooting, folks. And this could happen a couple times. And so this kind of crap happens. Obviously, I don't have a drive in here. Um, it did not go back to the BIOS. And I'm basically going to just restart this thing. So we've got to shut it down first. And then fire it back up. I did not realize, maybe I haven't been plugging this uh, ID cooling fan in. I think it's ID cooling. Alright, there we go. Restarting. Still did not want to go to the BIOS. Of course, if you hit that, that's going to keep happening. And like I said, I do not even have a drive in here. Now, why is this happening, folks? Oh, we have this drive in. So we do have a drive hooked up. So next time I do this, now that doesn't happen with too many motherboards. Um, this, in this case, this is a AMD motherboard and gigabyte specifically so I have seen that before all right so if we go back to easy mode you can see XMP is disabled we need to re-engage that there's our BIOS version right F3 and if we had a boot drive that might be screwed up so I'm gonna click on that now I've got my RAM back to 3600 and we're good to go, folks. That's all I want to show you in this video. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.